a very very important issue especially for our region where for over 20 uh, or two decades uh, we see that there have been numerous uh, such issues related to human rights and how things have changed in the past uh, and now probably things are improving for the uh, future so uh, i hope this uh, discussion ignites uh, that thought process in all of you you uh, would like to you know interact with these uh, thought leaders today listen to their ideas and then uh, interact at your own level uh, to see uh, whether uh, you know going in the future we have a, a solid foundation laid uh, for these uh, human rights um, and in fact these human rights are not only for people who are suffering but for uh, us common men also because every day uh, something or the other is happening in the society which uh, you know, kind of uh, gives us a feeling that it is violating the human rights. Um, but whether it is actually doing that or whether the government and the constituent bodies of our, uh, um, the government are in, uh, you know, have the full authority to do that or not, it is always a debatable question and debate is uh, should always be healthy because the idea of a debate is to bring about those pertinent points which probably somebody has missed out in devising a particular strategy or a policy. Uh, so coming out of today, if we get some good points forward, we should definitely try to uh, put these towards the National Human Rights Commission and to see, you never know, one idea from here could lead to a change at the national level uh, for the better. In fact, you must have come across many uh, uh, you know, emails from uh, change.org, whenever somebody has a problem, they start a campaign, uh, whether it is related to human rights violation or animal rights violation or maybe related to uh, some medical issues that are going on in the country. So those are kind of platforms which, you know, ignite the thought process of individuals. Um, but today we have three eminent panelists who are going to talk about this particular subject and uh, in all your young minds, you'll have many um, ideas and thoughts that you would carry uh, with you. And if you have any doubts today, probably they are the right people to help you answer those uh, queries. So I wish the organizers best of luck and also thank the panelists for accepting our invitation to be with us today. And I hope that all of you have excellent deliberations and uh, interactions today with the panelists and hope you have a good time interaction today. Thank you so much. First of all, uh, I would like to share with all of you, I don't know whether you people know this or not, that what basically civic literacy is all about. First of all, it is very necessary that one must know that what is a civic literacy. In a normal term, when word literacy comes out, so people just think of the education only. And by the time we are in the 21st century and most important we are living in democracy. Democracy means when people have a participation in the running of the country. May I turn yes, towards yes. them? Because that will be more comfortable. When you have interaction with the students, so it means one must have an eye to eye contact in fact. Uh, no, no, it's okay. I'm going to go back to the beach. Achha. So, first of all, I would like to share with you what is civic literacy is all about. As I said, literacy, people generally think, when we read it, that is a literacy. That doesn't mean literacy only. When we people talk of literacy, it includes so many things. But if we are going by the exact definition of the civic literacy is concerned, it means when you have a knowledge and skill, both. When you have either knowledge plus skill to participate to something, bring change in the society, that is a civic literacy. Means you want to uh, bring change in the society, you want to do something for the society. If I ask you why you people are having degree, so but I personally know we all are having degrees uh, just because of the reason majority of you will say, Ma'am, we have no That is the basic reason we are having a degree, right? But if I ask you one question, we people are all having occupation, right? Occupation, just say, my occupation, kya hai? I am a professor, and what I am doing is that I have to teach students. And majority, as for the citizens' uh, uh, facility, the enjoyment of the rights and the obligations that we talked about. That 
uh, everyone has need to focus on the duties also because everybody keeps on talking about the rights. We I want this thing and that thing. The very important thing is the duty part. That's why my lecture was actually focused on the duty part, and this is a requirement as per the uh, uh, say. Uh, not even literate, but even for the illiterate people also, because we have uh, the illiteracy uh, level two, and this is the requirement from all the sides. Uh, because I want to quote the example.